Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain impact diode with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you how many points that I'm going to cover in this video. Here, I'll cover basics, internal structure, characteristics, working and applications of impact diode. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of impact diode. So first of all, one should know the full form of impact. Impact means impact, ionization, avalanche, transient time. So impact diode is avalanche transient time diode that one should know. And impact diode functions based on avalanche effect. Impact diode functions based on avalanche effect. So one should know what is avalanche effect. As and when you have diode in reverse bias and if breakdown happens, then what will happen? If breakdown happens, then huge current flows and that huge current flows because of charge carrier multiplication. That is avalanche effect. So impact diode that functions based on avalanche effect and we will be using impact diode in reverse bias nearer to breakdown where we have avalanche effect. Impact diode was proposed by Reed because of which impact diode is also known as Reed diode. So if you have any confusion related Reed diode, then one should know impact diode is Reed diode. The reason is Reed have proposed impact diode, right? The impact diode that is high power microwave diode and it is having frequency range of 1 to 100 gigahertz. And impact diode is having high power handling capacity. The impact diode is having negative resistance characteristics because of which one can use impact diode in microwave oscillations as well as in microwave amplifications. So first of all, one should know what is the significance of negative resistance characteristics. See, if we have negative resistance characteristics, then we will be having lower reverse recovery time. And as if we have lower reverse recovery time, then we will be having faster switching speed. And if we have faster switching speed, then one can utilize that diode in microwave signals, right? Like in gun diode with tunnel diode, we have negative resistance characteristics because of which those diodes are having faster switching speed. So here with impact diode also we have negative resistance characteristics because of which it is having lower reverse recovery time and as it is having lower reverse recovery time we can use it in microwave signals right. The impact diode is having one drawback it is having higher phase noise and you will be observing we will be using impact diode in reverse bias only and that we will be using nearer to breakdown region where we have avalanche effect and as impact diode is having lower reverse recovery time in breakdown region we will be having higher current flow that's why one can use impact diode for high power applications right so how high power applications are possible here we will be utilizing breakdown in breakdown we have humongous current flow right so higher current will flow in breakdown here we have lower reverse recovery time so faster switching speed will be there so higher current and faster switching speed that is there with impact diode that's why it is high power microwave diode now let me explain how characteristic is there the characteristic is usual characteristics which we see it with pn junction in forward bias after cutting voltage, there will be flow of current. In reverse bias, there will be minor current flow. But after the breakdown, huge current will flow. And that huge current that flows because of avalanche effect. Right. Avalanche effect means charge carrier multiplication. Because of which you can observe after a breakdown voltage, huge current flows. So impact biasing that happens with respect to breakdown voltage. So as and when we use impact diode at that time biasing is done in reverse bias and reference is 
break down voltage right i'll show in working how exactly we provide that right now consider this is the region in which we utilize impact diode right if you observe the structure then this impact diode is two terminal device anode and cathode at anode side we have p plus region and here we have pn junction and after that we have intrinsic layer and at cathode side we have n plus region if you observe doping profile then here p plus that is having higher doping concentration of holes with n plus we have higher doping concentration of electrons with n region we have lower doping concentration of electrons and this is intrinsic layer intrinsic layer is having no doping concentration right it is not having any majority carriers see with n type material we have majority carriers as a electrons with p type material we have majority carrier as a whole but with intrinsic layer we don't have any majority carrier right so doping concentration that one can observe over here right based on this doping concentration if you observe the electric field profile then at this pn junction we have highest electric field in this n region it will decrease linearly inside this intrinsic layer it will remain constant but this is ideal right and after this junction over here this electric field that will become zero so if you observe in this region we have maximum electric field and as maximum electric field is present in this region this region is avalanche region see the region which is having maximum electric field that region will be avalanche region the reason is in that region only there will be charge carrier multiplication right so here with this region we have maximum electric field that's why this is avalanche region and from this region only there will be charge carrier multiplication and here we have drift region in this region there will be drifting of electrons why there will be drifting of electrons the reason is here we have n region so electrons will be moving in this direction right so in this structure of impact diode we have vertical structure why it is vertical structure the reason is there are many number of layers if you have many number of layers then that is referred as vertical structure i have shown it horizontally over here but practically it is vertical structure and because of more number of layers are there it is having higher power handling capacity right the impact diode that can be fabricated using gallium arsenide silicon indium phosphide and silicon carbide so these are the materials that is utilized for a fabrication of impact diode right the impact diode that is working based on avalanche effect avalanche region that is a region which is having extreme high electric field and because of extreme high electric field there will be multiplication of charge carriers right so here one can observe we have avalanche region that is happening in this n layer right why the reason is over here we have highest electric field right see after reverse breakdown electrons will be moving towards n plus region and holes will be moving towards p plus region so one can say this is the region which is drift region over here and over this side immediately p plus comes so there is no drift region over here with p plus but for electrons we have drift region that is there with this intrinsic layer right so after reverse breakdown humongous current flows due to avalanche effect in which electrons will be moving in this directions and holes will be moving in this directions right now i'll explain working of impact diode the working is there in reverse bias breakdown region so if you observe here this anode that is connected with this dc battery so this anode that is connected with negative terminal of battery and this cathode is connected with positive terminal of battery what it means diode is there in reverse bias and what is the voltage breakdown voltage vbd 
So on the verge of breakdown, we are providing bias into this diode. And this is AC input. This is AC input. Now see what will happen. Here you can observe sinusoidal signal that is given to us. And reference is what? Reference is VBD. That is breakdown voltage. So what will happen? If input goes below VBD, there will be breakdown of diode. If this input goes below VBD, there will be breakdown of diode. So if input goes below VBD, there will be breakdown of diode. If breakdown happens, then in carrier concentration, what will happen? Huge carrier concentration is generated. Why? Due to charge carrier multiplication. So here you can observe huge carrier concentration that is getting generated at the verge of breakdown, right? And that is getting drifted like electrons is getting drifted towards N plus and holes are getting drifted towards P plus because of which there will be flow of current. You can observe here there is a flow of current, right? So flow of current that happens in this loop based on breakdown only, right? And if you observe the flow of current over here, so which makes current lags by 180 degree with respect to voltage. The reason is if you observe the voltage over here, then here voltage is negative. But here there is a flow of current, right? Means as if voltage is decreasing, at the time current is increasing. What it means? It is having negative resistance characteristics, right? But one should know, see this is impact diode which is functioning on the verge of breakdown. Why? The reason is it is having lower reverse recovery time. Otherwise what happens, you know, like this signal that is not applicable to diode. But with impact diode, it is having very less reverse recovery time because of which one can utilize it in breakdown. Otherwise other diodes cannot utilize in breakdown, right? So that is how basic working is there, right? Now, if you talk about applications, so as I have told you, impact diode that is having negative resistance characteristics, it is having lower reverse recovery time because of which it is having faster switching speed. So one can utilize that in microwave signals, but there are some applications like one can utilize it in microwave oscillator, microwave amplifier, frequency multiplier. In radar system also one can use it. For satellite communication also one can use it. And for research and education also one can use it. But if you observe these applications, then those applications are based on high power handling capacity and based on microwave frequencies. The reason is impact diode is having high power handling capacity. Why the reason is it functions on the verge of breakdown. And on the verge of breakdown, humongous current flows means that diode can handle high power. So that is how Basics are there with impact diode. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Feel if anything that I like to share, just note it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.